Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Double A, Nine Skills, and before we jump in this video, let me quickly show you what team I'm going to be playing with. I actually did a squad builder of this team. It's, uh, it's been on my channel for maybe like two or three days or something like that. It's in the description down below. If you want to go watch a squad build for this team, you can. Now, we're going into a, uh, a gold tournament. It's the first round of the gold tournament, and yeah, I got a lot of things I want to talk about. So before we jump into the things I want to talk about, I quickly want to say, if you want cheap, reliable coins, make sure to check out the description down below. UT Coin Shred is cheap, reliable coins in the description down below. With that, yeah, we're about to get into this game, baby. Let's see what we can match up against. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up so I can start my commentary of what I want to talk about. <laughs> Let's see the team we get. Come on, baby. All right, three, five, two, Brazilian league team. That defense is going to be hard to break down. All right, so this should be very, very fun. Now, what do I want to talk about? Last night I was chilling, laying in bed, you know, relaxing, about to get my Z's, catch my night, night, my beauty sleep. And, um... I was on YouTube. Now I watch all my YouTube videos at night, you know, and again, when I'm laying in bed. Let me know if anybody's like me. Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe you're on your iPhone or your iPad or even on your laptop and you're watching YouTube videos and then until you get really tired and fall asleep. Let me know if that happens to you in the comments down below. So I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos and for some reason I put in Pez. I put in Pez 14. I wanted to see what it looked like. I wanted to see what the trailer was all about, what they were saying about it at E3. You know, because I, I, I'm a football fan, and I, I like football games. It's what I like. It's what I'm a gamer, and I enjoy playing football games. Now, nice move. Oh, I want to cut back outside. Um, yeah, so I, I love playing uh, football games. So for me, you know, it's not a big deal whether it's FIFA or Pez or whatever it is because I don't get paid for the game. I just play the game. I'm a gamer. So for me, um, wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> For me, I don't care which one is better, to be honest with you. Now, I've been a fan of FIFA since... Oh, goodness gracious. I, what the hell was that for a shot? I've been a fan of FIFA since I can remember, yo. I, and the thing is, back in like 06... 06 or 07, something like that. Everyone used to say how like Pez was way better than FIFA during that time. But for me, I still played... Nice Ronaldo Cha! I, I used to play FIFA... More than Pez. That was the, I've always played FIFA's. Now, have I owned Pez? Ooh, David Luiz, boy. Oh, I thought he scored that. Um, have I owned FIFA's? I mean, Pez's? Yes, I have. I've owned a couple of them. And I've played them, but I always end up just playing a couple games. And then I'll be like, ah, right, let me just play FIFA. Um, I enjoy FIFA more. I just like the way FIFA plays and, you know, all that. But anyways, I was watching this FIFA. Ooh, that was going to be a booyah. I was watching this Pez trailer. And... My first, my first reaction on it was, damn, this looks good. Because they were showing the players up close. It was like Nani and I don't, I don't remember the players. Not Nani. It was Neymar and maybe like Ronaldo. And, you know, loads of players, um, loads of big superstar players. They were showing them and their faces looked so damn real. I was like, wow, that's like looking at a real person. It looks so good. And that looked real cool. And then the gameplay started. And that's when I was kind of like, ah, oh, it looks... This is going to sound really stupid when I say this, but it looked too much like a game. Like, for example, the players' names over the guys' heads looked kind of weird. There was arrows, like, indicating which way you were turning. I don't need an arrow to tell me which way to turn. I already know which way I'm turning, man. I'm the one controlling the controller. So all that looked too gamish to me, you know. This guy's playing defense. Wow, yo, he's playing defense. It's just the first round of the Gold Cup, bro. You ain't got to be worried. It's just it's just a fun game. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, so, it looked it looked a bit too childish. Not childish, but a bit too gamish to me. And I know, obviously, FIFA looks like a video game. And it's a video game. It's meant to look like a video game. But at least FIFA looks a little bit realistic. Now, there was some cool things I saw in Pez. Some of the skill moves that the players were doing were real cool. Next level cool. Very, very nice skill moves. Um, so they were talking something about some engine that they're using. All that seemed really, really nice. I liked what they were doing with that. Um, it, it looked like something cool, you know? Now, I was I was sitting there thinking to myself, like, what if Pez was... Take that off the of defense. What if Pez was this epic game? What if Pez made a great game? What would happen? And the only thing I thought of, really, was the only thing that would happen was... EA would step their game up. EA would make it so people would want to buy FIFA instead of Pez. So would it be a better thing if FIFA, if Pez was a better game, if Pez was a really, really good game and 
people actually like when they walked into the store, they put their hand on their chin and they said, hmm, let me think about this for a second. Do I take Pez or do I take FIFA? What if Pez was a game like that, a game that good, that it would make you think about which one to buy? Now, the way I see it is Mercedes and BMW. Mercedes and BMW always compete against each other. Mercedes every season releases the same type of car, same name, just a different body style, upgraded engine, more horsepower, more torque, all that. So does BMW. BMW has their M class or whatever it's called, or is BMW M class? I think so, like M5s and stuff like that. So they got their they got the M classes and all that nonsense, and they upgrade the body. They put a new body kit. They change the headlights. They they put new horsepower. They add more torque and all that. So people will continue to buy them. They keep upgrading every single year. Imagine if every season they release the same exact car over and over and over and over. They just put a new name on it. M5 2013. M5 2014. Same horsepower, same torque, same body kit, just different name. That's what it seems like EA is almost doing. A couple things change, you know. They add a new navigation system. They add another, a little bit of new leather seats. But nothing really changes. Everything stays the same. If there was competition, because EA, BMW and Mercedes compete against each other, they can't keep releasing the same car over and over. They got to make a new car and a new car and a new car and keep competing. If EA had competition, would they start making a better game? Would, would their game have less bugs? Would they be more worried about what they... Smash that! Would they be more worried about what they release? I'm playing poop. Would Ultimate Team be better? For the past... Since FIFA, man, since since Ultimate Team started, I've been saying there's certain things that need to be filtered in N14 and in any FIFA. Just filter managers, filter this, filter that, but they won't do it. And is it because there's no competition? Is it because they don't need to filter it? Is it because they know people are gonna buy the game regardless of whether they filter something or if they fix a bug or not? Now I love EA. Don't get it twisted. I've been a FIFA fan for a long time. Personally, I'm more of a football fan, so I don't care what I'm playing. Should there be more competition? Oh, look, the game broke. See, would this bug exist if Pez was a better game? Would this happen? <laughs> so, I don't know. I sat there and I thought all night last night, just thinking to myself, like, man, maybe if Pez just stepped their game up a little bit, EA would step their game up a little bit, and then we would have... Oh, my days, that's a cheese that didn't go in. We would have a better game. We would have a better football game for me, you, and everybody to play with their friends. Or like how you guys like to say it in England, with your mates. I can't say the word. I sound really stupid. Oh, that's a cheese sweaty goal. I sound really stupid saying the word, but, uh, you know, play with your mates. I'm losing four. I'm losing one nil, and I've never lost this team before. I better step my game up. I'm talking too damn much. <laughs> um, would they step their game up, man? Would we have something better to play, you know, with our friends on, on the weekends and all that nonsense now obviously i haven't played fifa 14 i can't wait to play it um i haven't played pez 14 so i'm not i'm not judging anything look listen to me real quick a trailer does not tell you whether a game is gonna be good i'm sorry i don't care who, what company you are uh, most of the time the trailers aren't even gameplay they're just little cutscenes that they do on the computer and stuff like that so don't look at a trailer and say oh that game is gonna be epic because you never know Pez's trailer is always looks pretty good, but I played Pez last year at E3 and I was like, mm, it's not really, it's not really for me. So I sit here and I think to myself all the time, like maybe Pez, maybe Pez does need to step up. Now, as a YouTuber, would that be bad for me? What do I mean? So EA is what my channel's based around. FIFA 13 is what my channel's based around. I got a lot of people who enjoy FIFA. If Pez was a better game, let's say 15% of my audience went and bought Pez and doesn't play FIFA. Now I just lost an audience. But if there was more competition, if the game was better, would that increase my audience either way? So either way, it's a bad thing. It could be a bad thing for me. It could be a good thing for me. But me personally, just as a football fan, as, as a gamer, not as a YouTuber... I think I want to see EA have competition so they step their game up and continue to make the best product possible. Just because I do the game on 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 YouTube and I, I need the game to be good or my channel could be in trouble and, 
you know, I don't want people to get sick of FIFA, otherwise my channel could be in trouble. More as like a gamer, as a football fan, as a gaming fan. I, I want the game to be better for those reasons, not for the reasons of my YouTube channel. You know what I mean? Now, obviously I saw a lot of cool things in the Pez trailer that I approve of, and I saw some things that I was like, hmm, you stole that right off of EA's back. <laughs> um, but that's gonna happen, yo. Um, anyways, that, that was my... Get up there, get up there, get up there. Woo! I got to score, man. I got to get back into this. That was my whole, like, intake of when I was watching the Pez 14 um, trail. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to lose this game. I think this is going to be the first time I lose with this team. I honestly think I'm going to lose because I'm not performing well. I'm passing the ball bad. Get off me. Ah! So, anyways, I was, um... What were we talking about? I forgot. Oh yeah, so I, I was, I was watching and I really wanted Pez to step that game. That's that's my whole conclusion, I guess. And it could hurt me, but at the same time, I don't really care. I just I just want FIFA to be a better game. And if that takes Pez being better, then so be it. Let's do it, man. Let's get this. Let's get it going. <laughs> What's taking so long? Um, oh my days! His de like him playing defense is cheese right now. You know. I get by. I get by. Good pass. I lose it. This is this is actually really hard to break down at the moment. This guy has a pretty solid team. He could be through. He could be through here. Flick it up. Flick it up. Flick it up. Ah, he's not going to do it. All right, so... um, Yeah, so now let's talk about a little bit about uh, my channel and FIFA 14 for a minute. Um, so we're in... We're getting close to July now. And that's that's like... This is the downtime of FIFA 13. This, this is when, like, not much is going on. And everybody's waiting for the new game. The new season, the new football. As I talk, I'm going to really try to concentrate and come back in this game and beat this guy. Um, going forward, maybe like end of July, mid-July, beginning of August, I want to do a Let's Talk FIFA 14. Um, I want to talk... Um, I want to do like a Let's Talk on every mode. Every mode I play. So clubs, my player, career mode, ultimate team... Um, all that. I want to talk about all that stuff and, and really give you my wish list on the game. Now, could you guys do me a favor if you're still watching this video and you're still here with me listening? Could you do me a favor? Could you let me know in the comments down below what your wish list stuff is for FIFA 14? Because I will come back to this video right here and I will read the comments and then put this in my wish list video and talk about things that you guys want on your wish list. So, dude, I cannot get by this guy's defense right now. I'm struggling big time. Let me take this off of this. And this. Now wait this. Alright, so. Um, yeah, could you guys let me know what, what's on your wish list for FIFA 14? And, um, and leave it in the comments down below. Now, one thing I want to talk about real quick is last night I was in a, a call with a couple other YouTubers. And we were, we, were, we were talking YouTube things. You know, just sitting there. But that's a boo, ya baby. We were sitting there talking FIFA. And I remember back in FIFA 11, and I'm not sure if it was in FIFA 12, there was something called online leagues where you can get like 18 of your friends together or 20 of your friends. Everybody picked a team, and then it was an online league, and you just played against each other through a whole season, and whoever won the league was champion. So you could do a lot of things. You could, you could put money on it, and like you could do cool things with your friends. I remember it because I did it in my live stream, and everybody had such a good time with the whole tournament. So it was good. Now, I'm not sure if it's in FIFA 13. Can you let me know if they have it? I was looking for it through the menus, and I honestly couldn't find it. I could not find it. I looked everywhere, and I just could not find Um. Oh, my days. This guy's doing some pretty sweaty goals, isn't he? <laughs> All right, so anyways, um, I was... Um, that was really poor defending. Damn, I should stop talking and win this game, but... I was looking for it and I couldn't find it. I was thinking to myself, where is it? Why, why would they take online leagues out? Because that is so cool. So I had this idea for FIFA 14. Look at how many people he has in the back. Yo, this is disgusting. Um, I was sitting here thinking to myself of... Um, watch the cutback. He's in a sweat. He's in a sweat. He's in a sweat. No, he's not. Get that. I'm getting the willy. All right, so um, I was thinking to myself about online leagues, and if any of you guys played NBA 2K13 uh, or Madden or, or, or NBA or any of that. So in America, we have something called a draft, and what a draft is, if you place 
in last place in the league. At last place in the league, you uh, you get the first pick in the draft, which means you get like some new young talent that's coming into the league. You're gonna get them, and if you won the championship the year before, you pick last. And it's just so like the good teams don't get more OP, and the bad teams have a chance, and blah blah blah. It's a cool system, but imagine if they brought online leagues back and had a drafting system. So you put 18 of your friends in. Uh, and and then everybody gets to pick. So if you got first pick, you're obviously going to pick Messi or Ronaldo. And everybody picks 11 players. Then you have a season. You have an online season against each other. That would be such a sick mode, man. They do it in, I believe NBA used to do it. I'm not sure if they still do it. But that mode would be absolutely epic. I'm going to lose for the first time with this team. But I don't even care because I'm I, I'm doing a commentary. I don't even care if I lose. Um, I played so bad. Wow. Um, so, yeah. Uh can't believe he played defense the entire game. Nice ball, nice ball. Nice ball. Maybe I can bring it back. Maybe I can bring it back. Cross it, cross it. Don't shoot. Ah. Um, so, yeah, man. Um, that would be such a sick idea. And that's things I want to do in... I couldn't change player. Why not? That's things I want to do on my FIFA wish list. Um, is, is talk about modes that I would really love to see in the game. But an online league with a draft system where you and your friends can maybe bet money against each other and then be able to pick your own teams. And that would be absolutely epic. No one could have the same players, blah, 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 blah. I'll talk about this loads and wow, I played so damn bad this game. Um, I'll talk about loads and in, 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 um, going, going forward, I'll talk about loads in the wish list thing but let me know in the comments down below things you would wish were an ultimate team or in fifa and i'll talk about it in my wish list i've really got the d man but I, I couldn't break his defense down he played defense he played counter attacking and ah sweaty goals i got the willy i played bad no excuses he outplayed me um so yeah guys that should be game right there yeah no not yet hmm just almost over well that literally is throwing the ball well i finally lost the first loss with this damn team that was crazy. I went on like a 13-game win streak with, and I finally took a loss. But, yeah, guys, so let me know. And sorry for the gameplay. It was really bad. But, yo, you lose some, you win some, all right? Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments down below what you wish. And also, let me know what you think about Pez and FIFA 14, man. If you think uh, Pez should be better so there's more competition. And sorry for venting so much, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like is always appreciated. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. I'm your boy, Skills. I'm out of here. That's a boy.